you don't want to pay for the Wave subscription? Don't worry. Let me show you some alternatives. It's a great day to be alive. Don't tell me otherwise. Now, if you produce the music, you've probably seen a number of videos about Wave subscription model. So I'm not going to beat the head over the bush. Just to let you know, going forward, if you have Wave plugins, you would have to subscribe to their two different tiers. If you see here, they have a Wave Essential and they have a Waves Ultimate. So going forward, these are the only two things you can do if you want to have access to Waves plugins. Now, if you currently own them and you brought some outright, you still will have access to those plugins. However, you just can't update to the newest versions, which is okay, because personally, I don't use a lot of Waves plugins. So I'm not really missing out on much, but from these other videos of the comments section, everybody is like, <laughs> another subscription, another subscription. That's life, right? We pay for a lot of subscriptions. You're probably watching on your phone. That's a subscription. How do you watch YouTube without the internet? That's another subscription. Do you drive a car? Insurance, subscription, life insurance, so you can take care of your family after you pass on. Subscription. Utilities. Heat. Gas. Subscription. That's already five subscriptions you probably already pay for. But you just accept that's part of life. And now since this is the new business model, how people want to do. It's just the new norm. So instead of making another video complaining about how I don't like subscriptions, I'm going to give you some alternatives to use. So if you're a starting producer, beat maker, just getting into music, or you're a veteran and you might want to find some new plugins that you can use so you can buy them and have them and feel like they're yours, even though we don't own anything because once you die, you don't own it anymore. But anyway, let me show you some alternatives to some, to some Waves popular plugins so you don't feel like you're missing out when it comes to plugins. Here's the Waves current plugins that you get in the Ultimate Pack. So this is includes all of their plugins they have. Now they have some popular plugins. If you're a beginner, you probably don't even understand what a quarter of these plugins even do. So are you missing out? It depends. Let's take some of their popular plugins. API is just a channel strip EQ model after a different kind of board. Let's see what else we got. We got compressor, multi band compressor, pretty popular. The CLA whole suite, pretty popular. We got the CLA two-way compressor, which is a pretty popular emulation compressor. We have another CLA 76, which is another emulation compressor. So that's just to name a few. Well, let me switch over to my Logic session and show you. So I have four different channels, and I'm going to pull up Waves. Now, for the most part, I don't use a lot of Waves plugins. To be honest, I only really use a couple. I may use time to time this stereo imager, which just makes your signal wiser, wider. But if you have Logic, which I'm using now, they have their own spreader plugin, which acts the same. It just spreads out the sides just like this do. You can turn it. You can make it wide, wider. You can make different things wide here, shorten it up. So same thing. So I may use that, or another Waves plugin I use is the H compressor. So it's just a compressor. It's nothing really special. It has a nice sound to it, but it's just a compressor at the end of the day. And to put things in context, I make music for television. And when editors need something, they listen for generally two things. Does it sound good? Does it fit with the scene? That's it. They don't have time to be thinking about, wait a minute, they didn't use the Waves EQ, so I'm not going to choose this for the, the scene. They didn't use the UAD audio reverb, so I'm not going to choose. No, that's not how it works. And 
Even the consumers listening to music, we're listening on tiny earbuds, low quality headphones. So you're listening to streaming. We spending hundreds and thousands of dollars in the studio making these beats, tiny tweaks. And all the consumer thinks, do I like this song? Yes. Do I hate this song? Yes. That's it. They don't care what reverb. They don't care what plug in. They don't care what compression, what limiter you use. So think carefully when you're choosing your plugins. But let me carry on to show you more comparative. So if I look at my first channel strip, I plugged up a whole bunch of Waze plugins. So here's a compressor. Like I showed the H compressor. They have another compressor, R compressor, but these basically do all the same things. You might have a little sound differences. Here's another Waves EQ, a Waves limiter. So, and another plugin I kind of use a lot is the CLA vocals. Only when I'm recording vocals, I mostly make instrumental music, so I don't use vocals a lot. But if you look at this, CLA vocals, for instance, all it is is a whole bunch of plugins combined in one plugin. You have, you can adjust the bass, the treble, you have a built in compressor, you have a built in reverb, built in delay, and built in pitch. Now you can get all those plugins and separate ones, this just make it convenient. So let me show you some alternatives. Let's just take a compressor. Now go over to my logic. Logic has excellent stock plugins. So this is their built-in compressor. And look at this. They have different types of compressors built in Logic. So they have their standard platinum. Now, if you look at this right here, this is a famous emulation compressor, 1176. And you see this right here is the Native Instruments their same version so you can you if you have native instruments they're a pretty popular plug-in company i love you using native instruments products here's another version of the 1176 so same thing in logic you have the stock plug-in if i switch it over to this logic stock plug-in you have a ssl type uh, compressor right here which is another popular plug-in people use Now, if we go to EQs, here's the Waves EQ, Stock Logic EQ. Now, to be honest, this Logic EQ is what I use on all my tracks. It's just simple to use. That's all I need. Like I said, I make music for television, so it's pretty simple. It just cuts what I need to cut. But if you need something a little bit more fancy, I do use the Fab Filters EQ, which I love. I just like the graphic displays. It look really smooth, but you don't necessarily need this. But Fab Filter is definitely another company to check out. They have definitely other comparable products. So let's pull out another EQ. Now this is the stock from Logic. Now this is a emulation of the Neve EQ to get you that quote unquote vintage sound, whatever that means, right? So this is a stock plugin, just another EQ. They also have another famous emulation, the Pool Tech EQ. Now I really like this EQ. I use it mostly almost on kicks because it just has a um, um, distinct character on kicks. So this is one alternative that Waze has, but this is the stock Logic EQ, the Pure Tech EQ. And you can also do, this is T-Rax. I often use the T-Rax Pure Tech. So you look at these, they're about the same, different variations. The sound quality, the reason why I don't have any audio examples because we're not judging audio quality right now. We're just trying to show you the different plugins that you can get from different manufacturers. The stock limiter in Logic works fine too. I often use the Fab Filter limiter. As you can see, kind of the same basic things. Once you know how to work one thing, you know how to work a lot of other things. 
if we take Nate's instruments, let's go back to instruments. So they have a bus compressor, which Waves has a bus compressor, so it looks a little different. They have the famous LA-2A right here. So this is an emulation of the LA-2A telephonics compressor, which is real famous. I don't have this as a Wave plugin, but I often use this as an emulation. And I already showed the 1176 emulation. So right there, you got emulations of plugins that you can use. If you've heard about famous plugins that give you that warm sound, again, I'm putting in quotes because I don't know if newer people even know what that means. Uh, let's see. We, I often use IK Multimedia, too. They have just simple EQs you can use. This is a just compressor. So just depends. Now, it might not look as fancy, but it gets the job done. Another thing Waves has, they have Guitar Amp plugins. And Logic in itself, they have their own built-in guitar amps that you can just change. So if you want to simulate a guitar, here you go right here. Native Instruments also has one that I use a lot, too, called Guitar Rig. As you can see, they just have different ways to hook up a guitar. You just go through whatever sounds you want. So if you need something different than Waves, I would suggest checking your Logic or any DAW that you use, stock plugins, because I often use a lot of stock plugins. And like I said, my music has been featuring television, so something is right. I love Fab Filter. Fab Filter is a good company. Native Instruments is a good company. And just to show, couple more different companies UAD audio now they have a subscription service too but you can actually buy their plugins outright so here's something remember that Neve 1073 I was talking about emulation here goes that Teletronics LA 2A here goes the 1176 so the plugins might be more expensive but you can buy these and you can own these they have a subscription service in their UAD spark but the caveat is you actually don't get a lot of their plugins. So be careful of that. But I do like Universal Audio. Another company you can go to is Slate Digital. They have an all access bundle two subscriptions. I don't use Slate Digital, but if you want to check them out, that's a different company. Another company I've been recently getting into is Plugin Alliance. They have a whole bunch of different plugins you can buy. They have different sales that um, go on. So you just need to go through and see what you like. And the last company, Plugin Boutique, I like them too. I've bought some stuff from them. They Sometimes they have free deals and are heavily discounted deals. So check out these websites. I hope this helped you get an overall picture of different types of plugins you can use. And I hope you start thinking about making music differently in what you buy. Now, I've been making music for over 15 years. And when I first started, the first machine I had, you only had four tracks. There was no extra plugins on this machine that I used. So it really taught me of how to make a complete song with only four tracks. And now with the possibility of unlimited tracks in your DAW or unlimited plugins and different type of plugins that do effects, it can be really tempting to buy this new plugin because these commercials make it seem like if I just slap this plugin on here, I'm going to make it sound good. If I put this vintage EQ on here, I'm going to sound like the Beatles. I'm here to tell you that's not going to happen. Often what's forgot about is first you need talent. Now, talent is subjective, but you still need talent first. So no matter how many plugins you use, if you don't have talent to make something that people like, people ain't going to like it. Hope this helps. Thanks for watching. Peace.